There is no quitting at the Naval Special Warfare Preparatory School. It's all about the humble professional. All right, that's who we're looking for here. The coaches are great. They're actually positive motivators. The advice I would give to somebody who wanted to become, you know, go through this program is to definitely come to the prep course. Uh, the evolutions we do every day, it's more than you do on your own. The bottom line mission of PTRR is getting them ready for buds, getting them ready for first phase, second phase, and third phase, physically and mentally. The basic mission of the Naval Special Warfare Center is to train SEAL and SWIT candidates. Well, BCT is a crash course into uh, some of the basic fundamental boat guy skills, physical fitness, uh, and navigation is uh, the biggest thing, uh, some basic seamanship skills. I want to go out, have fun, be a boat guy, drive boats in dangerous situations, go have fun. I always thought the SEALs were you know, the finest unconventional warriors the United States of America has, so I just wanted to be part of them. The small, quiet brotherhood of, of SWIC really appealed to me. I mean, I knew it was going to be hard, but this is like a whole nother level. Buds is hard, and for some it may seem impossible. For some, they're going to fall on their faces a bit, but I think that is setting them up for success. The body aches and pains, but it's worth it. You start playing mind games with yourself, and you just got to talk yourself out of it. Seals can't be mass produced. It takes time for you to develop a, a competent seal. It's all about teamwork. If uh, one guy doesn't keep up with the rest of the group, it makes it a lot harder for the other six guys in your boat crew. So timing and teamwork. We're not here for attrition. We're here to make sure that the right guys make it to the SEAL teams. And who knows better what is needed in the SEAL teams than, than a guy that was there. They push me a little bit harder than, um, than I'm used to being pushed. And uh, they make me really, really try hard. You're looking for character. Things that you really can't teach, things that are just there. Once that's there, you can form everything around that. My heart's in it. There's just, just nothing that's going to stop me. So this is a job I want to do, and, and I'm not going to lose this opportunity in my life. Some of the uh, evolutions are, are actually pretty fun. Uh, Rock Portage is a, it's a favorite of mine. Uh, coming in, riding the waves in, and, and getting the boat up and over. It's a good time. They can endure 10, 15, 20 times the amount of pain and discomfort that they thought they could. When the light bulb comes on, they realize that you know, we really can't hurt them, that they can push past any amount of pain and discomfort and physical barrier that we put in front of them, that they can attain the standard that we're looking for. When that light bulb starts to come on, it's, it's pretty impressive. This is a monumental challenge. We're just at the beginning of it, and it's just gonna get bigger and better as it goes on from here. What we do is we start off with them in a classroom environment with the equipment in front of them, bare bones, basic, and we put it together from attaching the battery to an antenna, pushing each button, and we do it alongside them with them. It's a reward when you see that they actually picked up your knowledge. And I wanted to do something a bit more exciting, and this, every day, it fulfills my uh, appetite for excitement. We're kind of close to the home stretch. Got through Buds, Jump School, Sear School, all the other schools we have to go to before we get to SQT. Now, you know, there's a reason they call this the finishing school. You know, we're polishing it up. sense of brotherhood is what I want them to leave here with. Because when they leave here, they're representing us. They're representing a small unit, an elite unit, that has a huge heritage and history behind it, and a lot of respect from a lot of people. So when they go forth and you know go out in the world and meet people, they're not only representing themselves, they're representing every one of us and the tradition that, that you know the SEAL teams has been built on. The idea here is to get guys ready for cold weather training. We're setting guys up to be able to move through anything they might face. Learn to survive, ready to fight anytime you need to. The training we're doing out here is it's it's real. I mean it's 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 intense. It's not the instructors kinda of, they you know, they teach you everything they need to know, but there's a certain point where you're on your own and it's it's you and your guys. Well this week out here we were learning um, pretty much how to stay safe and shoot, move and communicate together as a team and how to check your buddies to the left and right of you, how to stay safe and pretty much you know, work as a team. Today is the culmination of 64 weeks of the most physically and mentally challenging training conducted within the U.S. military and the free world. You know, I pretty much earned the trident for America and now I gotta earn it for my team. 
Uh, anytime you can put the skill set that he has together with passion, you see what the product is. And I'm, I'm extremely proud of him. Uh, Buds and SQT, they're the foundation, they're the platform to get you to this point. But right now, you're, you're beginning, you're a journeyman on this, this quest to become a warrior for America. It's something special, something to lead to be proud of, whether you're a, you're a boat guy or you're a SEAL. Well, I do love this country, and I'm very patriotic, and I'm proud to serve in the military. But at the same time, I knew what I wanted to do had to be the pinnacle of what I can perform. And uh, joining Naval Special Warfare was exactly what I was looking for. Um, I wanted to be the best of the best.